What's up guys and welcome to today's video where we are going to be going over how to mine Chia coin on a Windows based system. This video is intended for people that want to get started mining Chia on a computer that they already have laying around with some free terabytes of space on a hard drive. So first things first, how do you mine Chia? What do you, what do you need to mine Chia? Well, Chia is a hard drive based coin as I described in the previous what is Chia coin video. So you are going to need storage space. I recommend something about anywhere from four to eight gigs minimum. Uh, if you have some hard drives laying around or unused storage space, something on a NAS or just like a eight terabyte hard drive that you maybe just installed into your gaming rig because man, those games on Steam are taking up way too much space nowadays and need to offload some things. Well, that works perfectly fine to be honest. So I recommend you use what you have and probably don't go out spending your money on Chia until uh, we figure out how much this coin's worth. So tomorrow, May 3rd, is when Chia coin is supposed to be released uh, to the public as far as trading. So we should find out some sort of price, hopefully, and some exchanges should add Chia here in the near future. So we'll be able to see the profit loss calculations and figure all that out. I will have another video coming up later on showing you guys how to mine Chia on uh, a Ubuntu based system, which quite frankly, is about 20 to 30% more efficient and faster. So we will have that. It's a more advanced uh, video coming out later. But for now, this video is just intended on people that want to start mining Chia on something they already have, like a Windows-based system. So like I said, the thing that you will need is a hard drive with free space. Um, preferably, you're going to want to have at least four cores on this machine probably at least 16 gigs of RAM. Also, um, a solid state that you have laying around that you're not needing is gonna be uh, preferential also, but you don't need it. You can use uh, a hard drive directly for plotting everything, which is what we're gonna do in this video, but just be forewarned, it probably will take about 20 to 26 hours to plot uh, one plot, which is about 100 and something gigabytes, but it needs about 300 and something gigabytes of free space. So without further ado, let's head over to my test bench system where I'll walk you guys through how to set this all up and get the farm started. All right, so here we are on my test bench system. As you guys can see, uh, I was mining some stuff, but I turned that off so we can get this video rolling. First thing you are going to need is to download the Chia software. So we will go here and you can type in Chia coin and the Chia network here. And you're going to want to in install this Chia blockchain. So click on that and it's going to take you over to GitHub. Uh, this is going to be a Windows based installation and tutorial. So click on Windows. And then right here where it's stall, it says install the Windows installer Chia blockchain Windows. So click on that and go ahead and save this to your downloads. Wait for it to finish. When it's done, go ahead and click on open Chia. Take a second to uh, pop up. Here we go, here's the newest version of Chia coin. It's going to connect to the wallet. I'm gonna hit this little sun slash dark button up here. It's gonna switch me over to dark mode. Uh, if you do see this pop up, go ahead and hit allow access. So since this is the first time you guys are accessing the Chia network or a Chia wallet, you probably don't have a private key. If you do have a private key, you can use the import function. You're going to have 24 words that you need to import in a very specific order. So since this is the tutorial on how to do it, I'm going to go with the assumption that none of you guys have this private key. So we are going to go ahead and generate a new private key. This key is 24 words. You are going to need to make sure you have this stored somewhere very safely. If anybody gets hold of these words, 
your whole wallet is compromised. It's the same thing for all cryptocurrencies, or most cryptocurrencies, I should say. This 24 word key is the way to get back into your wallet. It is your backup. It is usually the only way to get into certain coins. It's the only way to log into Chia. If you forget these 24 words or lose these 24 words, you will have to start over from scratch. I can't express how important these words are enough. Please put them somewhere, store them somewhere very safely. Do not keep them on your desktop. Do not keep them on your computer. Don't put them in your Google Drive, anything like that. Uh, it's you're asking for trouble when you do something like that. So I recommend using a hardware wallet. I will make a video on how to properly store your cryptocurrencies in the future. So stay tuned for that. But for now, um, just keep keep these somewhere safe. You will need them. Uh, so you will have to write these down. These words are going to be different for every single one of you guys. Every wallet will have a different and unique code. Um, so we're going to hit next here. And now the Chia coin uh, blockchain is open. Hit allow access again. It's going to start syncing. Uh, the wallet has to download the entire blockchain. Right now they don't have any light wallets or anything like that available. Kind of reminiscent of the old Bitcoin uh, wallets. You have to download the entire blockchain uh sync it all it will take some time especially depends on your internet connection if you have a slow internet connection it can take a while there's no estimates or anything like that on when it'll be done uh but it will take quite some time so as you can see here this is where we're at right now and it's slowly gonna start syncing all the transactions once it's done syncing you can then actually farm but in the meantime we're gonna need to plot and you can see here our Chia wallet has nothing. Uh, that's the height of the blocks. We've only had 55 blocks. Now we're at 61. It's going to keep updating until this sinks. Um, this is your receiving address. So if you want to receive Chia coin, that's how you receive it. Should be live hopefully tomorrow or within the next week or so. Um, you can see the history and you can make a transaction. But the most important thing is the plots. As you can see, we don't have any plots right now. You can click add a plot and that's how we'll start mining. Once we add a plot, it will show up here in the farm where you will start farming your Chia coin. So let's head on over to plots. We're going to hit add a plot. So this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky and it might be different for all of you depending on your systems. You will need to do a K32 file. If you do the K25, they will not count starting tomorrow, so do not waste your time with them. This is the minimum plot size. It's 101 GIB. Um, now, it's going to take about 300 or so gigabytes of temporary space, so do not uh, try plotting on a small drive. You're going to need at least a drive with 300 gigs. Um, I recommend you do you do your plots in a, in a queue, uh, just one at a time, just because uh, more than likely your system might not be able to handle multiple. If you do have an awesome gaming rig, you probably can do multiple. Um, every plot by default, if you click on show advanced, it's going to show you how much RAM it's going to use, how many threads it's going to use. Um, so every concurrent plot, if you do them in parallel, which means running multiple plots at a time, it's going to take about three and a half rough gigabytes of memory and about two threads on your processor. If you have a two core processor, it's going to use two of those threads. So it's going to basically max out your processor. If you have a four core system, four core eight thread system, you have eight threads and you can do four at once. Uh, each plot takes a lot of time it can vary anywhere from two hours six hours 24 hours it depends on your hardware but um you will need at least 300 gigabytes of space so i recommend 
not to look in this advanced section. So we're just going to leave and come back. So we're going to do one plot at a time in this video, just to show you guys the temporary directory. So this is where Chia is going to make all these files for you before it's finished. It's very recommended, highly recommended to use a fast solid state drive like an M.2. You can use a SATA solid state. It's just they're a lot faster and they max out about at 500 to 550 megabytes per second. Whereas my Samsung uh, 980 Pro is seven gigabytes per second. So significantly faster reading and writing speeds, which will significantly speed up the plotting because uh, you're going to be limited on bandwidth if you're using a hard drive or a SATA solid state. So for this video, I'm just going to assume, you know, you're doing this on your gaming rig. Uh, you don't want to use your solid state. You just have a hard drive in there so you can choose a temporary folder and you would go down. This is going to be my temporary folder. It's just one terabyte drive. Uh, the way I do it is I make two folders and since we're going to be doing everything on the hard drive, I'm going to make a temp, a temp folder and I'm going to make a Chia folder just on the root of that drive. We're going to select the temp folder to be our temporary storage and your final directory, I am going to choose the Chia folder. Now, as I mentioned, using a hard drive is significantly slower and you can and probably should use a solid state if you can. The only problem with using a solid state is you need to make sure this solid state is not important to you. If you are using your, your M.2 or whatever solid state you have and it's your C drive, just be aware, Chia is very, very intense. It will burn out your solid state if you're not careful. That's why I recommend using a solid state that you don't care about. If you have a spare one laying around, go ahead and use it. If you don't care about your own solid state, go ahead and write. The speed difference is substantial. So on my main plotting machine, it would take about five to six hours to write on my M.2 NVMe solid state. When I did a test to write on the hard drive, it took 26 and 26 hours and 15 minutes. So as you can see, quite a substantial increase. Now, if you only have a couple of terabytes and you don't want to put any money into mining Chia coin, you just want to use what you have, then it's perfectly fine. Just use your hard drive. Just be aware it's going to take some time, which is what we're going to do here. So we're using the D drive, the temp folder on this one terabyte hard drive, and we're using the D drive Chia folder as the storage, the long-term final directory. On my plotting system, I have this as one of my one terabyte NVMe drives, and then I have it moving over to the final directory, which is a 16 terabyte hard drive, right? So anyway, choose your temporary. The faster, the faster the plotting is going to be. The slower, the slower the plotting is going to be. Just keep in mind, solid states will burn faster. Um, and then just hit generate plot. It's fairly simple. Um, using this GUI method, you can use the command line. It's a little bit faster, but it's going to be a lot more complicated. So I don't recommend doing that especially if you just want to make a couple of plots um, the faster the processor also helps increase the speed and the more cores you have the more you can do at once so as you can see here it's starting to make these temporary files and if we go into task manager we should be able to see that chia coin here has started using up some of the performance. Yeah, as you can see here, my disk is now at around 90 to 100%. So on a hard drive, it's gonna max it out, but if you use a solid state, you might hit like 20 to 30%, depending on your solid state. So, um, and then if we go into the temp drive that we made, you should be able to see a bunch of, whoop, in the temp, 
a bunch of plot files. So these are all the temporary plot files that it's going to make. At the end of the process, it's going to combine all of these plots into one big plot, and then it's going to compress that one big plot into a 100 gig file. Um, and that's why we're using the proof of space and proof of time, because it takes a lot of time to make these geo files. So it's not something that you can just flick of a switch, turn on, and, and start mining, kind of like with the GPU. It is a time-bound process. So that's pretty much how to set up Chia mining on a Windows-based computer. Um, the faster the CPU, the faster you can plot. The more memory you have, the more you can plot at once. The faster the solid state, the faster the plot goes. Also, um, graphics cards don't matter. You, you just need the processor, memory, and the disks. Um, and if you want to learn how to do multiple plots at once, I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now so I can show you guys how to do multiple plots. You go to add a plot and you're going to choose a multiple. If you want to have it where it makes one right after the other and you still want to use like a hard drive, you can select, I don't know, let's say you want to do 28. So then when one plot is done, it's going to head on over and start doing the next one and you don't have to touch it. Otherwise, you'll have to come back and look at it every however many hours and however long it takes for your system. Um, so let's just say you want to do like two of them in parallel. So you do two plots and you click plot in parallel and you have the option to delay it by a, a certain amount of minutes. Now, this is beneficial because some plots uh, will plot faster and some plots uh, will pull out slower, but most of all, it's because the phases, there's four phases when plotting. It's phase one and two, three and four. Phases one and two are more CPU intense than phases three and four, but phase one is the most intense and three is the second most intense. Phase one and two is relies heavily on your temporary directory speed and the processor speed, whereas three and four is mostly processor. Um, so you can use that to think, hey, I have a really fast solid state, but it's small. It's only 500 gigs. Can only handle one at a time. So you would do one here, and then you would move it over to a second temporary directory, but that gets a little more advanced. So this way, at stage three, it'll dump it onto here. And if you really want to get into it, you can do a solid state up here and a slower solid state down here, or even a hard drive. If you have a fast hard drive, it can be used as a second temporary directory. That way you can free up the first solid state and just keep dumping more plots onto there and getting more and more done. But uh, just to do parallel, you just select how many you want to do and and plot in parallel. I usually do a 10 minute delay between them um, if you're doing just two at a time. That way the first one starts and then it starts easing up on the CPU and then the second one starts. Um, and that way it's more efficient. And then once it starts into the next one, it gives essentially the first plot some breathing room to start using more of your CPU. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the description below. It does get kind of tricky and advanced, so uh, don't worry about asking questions. We're, we're all fairly new to this. It hasn't been out too terribly long. And hopefully tomorrow we should see the Chiacoin network go completely live. So we should see a price coming out. And hopefully that price will be fairly uh, high or higher than what we anticipate. That way it's actually worth GM mining because right now it's 100% in a shot in the dark, so. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about Chia Coin or mining cryptocurrencies or technology, anything in general, just leave it down in the description below. I will get to it as soon as possible and send you guys a message or a response. Um, if you want to see any videos in the future, also leave that down below. I really appreciate you guys' feedback. I've been getting a lot of feedback on Instagram, email, and the comments lately. So I really do appreciate it. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again.